Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Truth You Know, You Don't Know, podcast where we have random reasonings, you know. I'm Dunks, we have Ella, we have Suna, we have Russ, yeah. Um, notably, Il King is missing tonight. Um, don't know, say, boss have some exams I'm going to deal with, but we still try to have a discussion and tackle this topic. So, tonight's topic is Grammys. Um, the list of nominees were, you know, posted. And I think that a lot of people were really disappointed, especially Jamaicans were disappointed. Well, everybody, because hip-hop artists and all sorts of people were disappointed. But Jamaicans were a part of that list, or dancehall artists weren't recognized. So we definitely want to talk about that. Um, how do you guys feel about the nominations? Um, Everybody well, disappointed. Condolences to Toots and him family, Toots family, you know. Yeah. But I'm yet to hear a song from that album. <laughs> I don't know where I can find that album. I don't. I don't even know what's happening with probably, it. Probably on Apple or, or Spotify or yeah, something. Probably, you know? probably that. But um, my thing is. I think a lot of persons just saying that it's time that you probably split reggae and dancehall and try have a dancehall yeah. category. Dancehall want a name for themselves. And yeah. with the Grammys, it's kind of weird. I guess if, you, if you're under a major record label, mm-hmm. like you automatically get nominated once you put out an album. Whereas mm-hmm. these local artists, that's one of the problems that they're facing. Because even with Popcorn, he's under Drake. So that's why Drake did so upset. You know, Drake, I try to get him like a record label building and getting their yeah. feedback and so on. Yeah. He was a bit disappointed. But if you're not under a major like record label, you just won't be nominated. And that's just what it is. So. So, so, so before we continue, everybody disappointed with the names. We <laughs> feel like other people were supposed to be nominated. Yeah, we call the names. I am not disappointed because I do not subscribe to the Grammy for validation of artwork. So I wouldn't yeah. say I'm disappointed, but I can empathize with those who use it as that. As that for yeah. them. Yeah? Same thing as a sooner? No, I agree with Ella. The thing is, you know, I think reggae and dancehall has reached a level now. We need to pull away putting the Grammys as the pedestal for our. Yeah. Yeah. Our, yeah. Our, yeah. Because some white people in a one back room really don't know what I want in a dance hall. Caribbean so. can, the Caribbean can set up something that is far more established. Because remember, they have super music, you have all of the music they want to get recognized by the Caribbean. And it, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that, and that is something that I agree with as well. You know. But yeah. at the same time, we have a lot of people that use this as, you know, the, the, the standard. Um, for the music and stuff like that. And I think Russ touched on a topic where, um, on a point where we were saying that, you know, labels. We should probably separate the, the reggae and dancehall aspect, you know, so dancehall get them own thing, and reggae get them own thing. I agree with that. However, honestly, with dancehall, the right you know, I, recognize, I don't think that a lot of these are. Even the people who are around dance all right now. I mean, I feel like the music, any sort of global, really. I just, it just makes for Jamaica. And I think that before we can get to a point where dance all is recognized like that, we have to cultivate different listeners. We have to cultivate people that actually, because we have artists that are doing really good, are, are is doing really good in dance all, but we just, not have them power on a certain level, like somebody like Assassin. I think Sean Paul, I don't know, so I have to say Alkaline, Alkaline are going good. Yeah. Shensia, um, these artists are the artists that should be the, the front runners of the, the, the genre. But the artists that we have as the front runners now, they are more underground artists to me, to tell the truth. That's a slippery slope because that's what happens to people like Kevin Hart. The dance hall is the genre of for what it is. It's for Jamaican people, it's for our culture. Dance hall, it's that. It's the boogie yaga mm-hmm. business. It's that, that's what it is. So if you are to cultivate it for a wider 
audience. Yeah. You're going to change. You're going to change what the genre is. So if they don't appreciate it for what it is, you know, yeah. they're not really fans of the music because this is what dancehall music is. This is what dancehall music embodies. This is how that's the energy, that's the vibe. So and I'm sure you have to tell about all the Kevin Hart thing that's real still. <laughs> Because because him did want him did want get to the wider audience a white audience that we need for each other. Yeah. Nigga no funny. Him just low. He's not exactly. <laughs> so, that's, that's what I'm saying. He's no, not, but, no but listen now. If you change what dancehall is to satisfy people, it's not going to be dancehall anymore. No, but you get lighter. You get tracks like lighter. No, but, but listen, to, lighter. Yes. listen, listen to what I'm saying now. Yes. I'm not saying to change dancehall for for anybody. The, the people actually are making dancehall that is not because what what has happened to dancehall over the years we, we don't have longevity anymore in the music and that is something that we have to step away from first of all the point of music itself is to it go over the years and that's why people like bob marley and them people they can still make millions years after they ended the song them have life these songs burn out too quickly and really shouldn't be, um, you know, have no substance really and truly. And I'm not like, with I'm any sense. An unfair standard because no. a lot How of other it? runners are not like that. All right, one time, one Katy Perry song around the place. Me can't even remember the name of my Katy Perry song when I try to think about it. One time, I hit you here on the radio. Yeah, every can't remember it. Day. No, right? listen. Wait, the exactly. catalog. It happens to other genres too. You have a whole lot of rap. Um, rap songs and so on come out like holy for Cardi B song them they play them days upon days upon days and then they just stop right so you do no, have but, no but at the same time you have I'm not asking for somebody to play if they have several songs like if they ever put out an album all of the songs are have longevity but you have Cardi B songs that are very good songs that last more than two weeks you are talking about one two week lifespan these songs that you're saying that oh they used to play one one time and then they stop they last longer than two weeks they have six months worth of strength behind them if you played six months in a one party it's not like ah oh, me tired to hear the song because yeah. it's so layered with for dance and music because the 2020 mixtape so we listen to now the song them are like six months old song they still play a dumpling but, and song that and, and Dance, another factor to look at, you know. I think yeah. what we don't really look at, uh, I think reggae is is a more solid kind of genre more than dancehall. Uh -huh. Dance has been very dynamic over the years. It changes with the beats and so forth. So, for instance, a US market and the Grammys, they rather the old school dancehall. But we don't really have the old school dancehall. Yeah, right, but originally point now. And at yeah. that point, they at the point because the old school dancehall have longevity yeah. these songs are songs that yeah you can play even right now you you, you, you pull up a all these mixtape and you play this song yeah, yeah, the song yeah. them come like them brand new i agree but if if dance all of that solidified force like saying all right like reggae reggae used to have a mission like the music for the world music for the people if dance all had solid solidified the sound like that and kept it that way then i think americans would and the Grammys would recognize dancehall as a different category. But they keep right. up in different sounds, and it sounds like hip hop, it sounds like trap. No, so they don't know what to expect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and what may I say is, you know, you can have diversity in the, the, the genre. Yeah, I'm not saying that you have a sound a certain way, because we have several artists that are able to, like, Let's say we use Assassin. Assassin, I'm a very good artist. Assassin can perform at any show right now. The songs I have, as the songs I put out already, you don't need to put out nothing new. And you can still go and enjoy the music. The music, you listen to it. You have upbeat music. You have music that uplift you. You have music that does a lot for the person that's listening. Other than the, the other artists where we are, where we, where we are Lord and I have Power and Pedestal and stuff like that. The music, I see them thing like, all of them are right, the same thing. I see them, music, it, it, it um, appeals to the same mood. You don't really have nothing to do with nothing outside of that. And right. that is where we are going down the wrong, 
-hmm. whose responsibility is it to put assassin as the front runner for dancehall? I think that it is our responsibility. We have to realize our talents and put the people that are, you know, um, doing well or have the, the talent and push them. We have to push the people where we, where, where we think. We bring the, the culture to other, other places. We have to do that. Yeah, man. It, it starts with the people. Asking, that's asking the general populace to invest something in dance hall that they did not sign up for we're here to enjoy yeah, it yeah they like, love their foolishness but nice we don't really do this if yeah. didn't want to get the platform we deserve or not we just listen to what uh, you know what we like yeah. right so, but and that and that is where it should we should do better in terms of that and we had that conversation in terms of our how own. powerful our djs and stuff like that we have to literally when we are passed on the music, because sometimes we pass down the music and your grandparents will do it for you. Come listen to that song. When you're passing down the music, you ensure say you pass it down in a way where the appetite that your your or the palate you have grow for the, 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 the child that you're telling. Them can decipher good tune versus foolishness. And then in that case, you can actually okay. That's a foolish is it sound good, me rave to it, but the artist is a good artist, make me go support him, make me go streaming thing, make me go buy or whatever. Like you have to create. And that is why I said you have to create better listeners for the genre, for it to go to a certain place, is what I think. But me not think um me think pop music just as lame still in terms of the creativity and the actual artist then. But let's say Justin Bieber get nominated to sing about. Yummy, yummy. You can't tell me that song is good. That song <laughs> is total crap. Yeah, yeah. But him get nominated, so it's it kind of rough. That's why I feel like dancers just need to have their own space. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I agree with that, too. that them really need to look into that. So that's the main thing for me. Because yummy, yummy. You can't tell me. If one dancer artist sing yummy, yummy, Jano. Yeah. yeah. Can you talk to me? Someone we have Lali. Lali worse no, than you know, <laughs> And then on the list of people who are having an issue with the Grammys, jam, um, dance on music, the way down my bottom. Because people who live in America, people who their genre is American genres, they're having the same issue because they keep, all right, I don't know for sure, but let's say they keep putting, once you're black, your music is put in this category when it's really pop music or it's really whatever yeah. music, like that. So, so other people are having yeah. Issues with the classification and issues with who they nominate and why they nominate them and stuff like that. So for me, I think we should just scrap well, it. Me. Yeah, just scrap it. Brother, your message. I Somebody in you wanna big up. They know if you get big up. Uh, in, uh, uh, that, I, I, personally, I think the gram is kind of lose it, it, its essence. Over yeah, it. yeah, yeah. True. Even true. like even like the weekend, in their rule about how how them yeah, the weekend they get nominated. Yeah, and we must say we can use it in a Drake camp to and things so Drake they feel bad for that too. And so the yeah. album wicked. <laughs> yeah, the album the album good for you. But yeah, yo, you're a mess. We might we might have to have a conversation, another conversation on this thing. Some of them sang out where the people them have dear to their heart. It shouldn't be. So honestly. But the thing you is you cannot tell people what to like. Alright. But I it should exactly. be able to <laughs> you can't tell people not to smoke. You can't tell people not to drive fast. You can't tell people not to for wear masks. You can't tell people not to listen. That way I listen to it. Stop listening to it. Their health and their safety. Me enjoy Lolly doesn't do anything to me. No, not to you. Not to you, but you have some people where, and we always, that, that is a conversation we definitely have because we always talk about the influence of music. You have some people that it actually, it changes how them, them look on if on life in general. Just because of the music itself, you see me? So, we can tell you, say, oh, you know, if you listen to that, come on, listen to some, listen to this instead of that. I, like, I agree with the point that you're making that if we cultivate, you know, a better mindset, because the things that Jamaicans gravitate to naturally are not necessarily good things, right? Yeah, yeah. So, we know that. But at the same time, I don't think it's up to me to make sure <laughs> that I put out the effort to listen to. XYZ because they deserve to be listened to more than whatever I listen to what I like. Okay. So Fine. Just, Fair just, enough. just for selection sake. Um 
All of we know who get nominated for the reggae, reggae acts them. And I can miss. All right. Just a, a bunch list. of old man. So you have Bojo Bantan, Upside Down 2020. You have Skip Marley, Higher Place. You have Maxi Priest, It All Comes Back to Love. You have Toots Animators, Got to Be Tough. And One World by The Wailers. So The Wailers. Like, literally, like Bob Marley but and The Wailers. Who decide who are going to win the category? Just decide. Wait, you just said right. The Wailers. I'm going to say Bojo. I'm going to say Bojo. I don't know. I don't know. I just have to pick Bojo. I don't know what none of them sound like, actually. <laughs> I have to pick Bujo too because no, I don't really get other songs. No, I think it's either between Skip Marley or, or Toots. I think Skip, he didn't Skip really some good songs still. Here, but Skip did some more about crossovers with her and those artists. Yeah, man, he had some hit songs. Well, true, true, man. Some true. good songs. Yeah. But very global for you. I don't recall you. hearing about it. I don't recall. I, don't, I, can't, I can't picture what the songs sound like now, but I remember. About. really connected to Jamaica, but he has like international advertisements and them something. So he might, he might get the nod feed. But you said toots, yeah. and you said the whalers. That can't be credible. <laughs> Yo, come up to the money, man. Yeah, we had this toots too. We had this. Sorry, toots, but the general. <laughs> All right. So, um, guys, definitely let us know in the comments what you guys think about the Grammys and dancehall music and the space and all of that. Um, so definitely just chime in and yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.